Hi Makeup Junkies, uh, this is going to be, well, if you open this because of the title of this video, then that's just wrong. <laughs> uh, no, basically it's my favourite nude lipsticks, it's what I'm going to do today. Um, I've really got into nude lipsticks lately, I do like bright colours. Um, but yeah, I've been found myself reaching for the sort of the nudier side of the spectrum when it comes to lipsticks. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven here. Um, two of which are new-ish. Um, and the others I've had for quite a while, but they're all ones that I think you can still get now. Um, so the first two I'm going to go for is the first uh, the first two new ones. Um, the first one I've actually got on my lips now. If you can see that, it's not very... Let me see if I can bring you a little bit closer. So it's quite nude. Um, I have to be really careful when it comes to nudes because um, I get really washed out and I look really dead because I've got quite pale skin. Um, but the first one, pretty sure I got this off the market store, but I'm pretty sure you can still get this from Super Dragon Boots. Um, it's the Maybelline one and it's 842 Rose Pearl. That one just there. Um, it's a colour colour sensational um, it comes in a sort of clear tube um, rather than the the brand new nudes which look like this one which is a frosty um, but this one's a clear one I got this one off the market so like I said uh, this is I don't know who's got a name yeah Rosewood Rosewood Pearl I just said that didn't I and it's the one that I'm wearing now um, it's just a really 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 nice sort of flesh colour if you like but not too fleshy that it looks um, dead if it makes me look dead so I'll do a quick swatch I'm not sure you're going to see it because it's so much like my um, there it's that one just there uh, looks so much like my skin tone but I really like this one it doesn't make me feel washed out or look washed out the next one is one of the new um, nude range from Maybelline and it's 725 and it's tantalising taupe this one is a little bit more sort of Brownie toned, I suppose. Beigey toned. Um, I'm going to swatch that next to it. It's slightly darker. This one here. Um, again, really love this one. It doesn't make me look washed out. And I really like it. Um, the next one is a Rimmel one. And it's a cake one. I did actually get this from the factory shop. But I'm pretty sure that they still do the number three in um, Super Dragon Boots. In the same... On in still in, on the line, if you know what I mean. In the line, um, this is the lasting finish by Kate, and obviously it looks like this. I got mine for two pound from the factory shop, but this is just like a really nice beigey nude. They're all sort of looking the same when I swatch them. Again, that one's just a little bit darker. It's got more of a beigey tone to it. Really like that one. The next one is also a Maybelline one. Um, I think this is just from there regular line that they've got and I'm pretty sure they still got it because I saw it in uh, Super Drug the other day and this is 150 Stella Pink. Now I love this one. This is what it looks like. Um, it's a sort of, well, it's a pinkier nude basically. That's all I can say because it's Stella Pink isn't it? So, And you can tell that it's got the pinky tone to it um, but it still looks nude on my lips. It's sort of my, my lips, but better type thing. So that's that one. So that's three Maybelline and a Rimmel so far. Then I've got an Avon one, which I absolutely love. Now this came... I don't know if I got this one free when I ordered a load of stuff, but this came unexpectedly. It showed up in my box. Um, I think it was just one of the extras that I got given because I'd like ordered so much. Um, this one is called Proper, Proper Pink. Um, and it's from the, I oh, can't see, it doesn't say what line it's from, I'm pretty sure it's the last one. It comes in a tube that looks like this, got Avon written on it. I just love the packaging of the Avon lipsticks, I think they look very posh. This is a very, very light, lilac-y toned nude. Um, I'm going to swatch that one above there. You can see it's got lilac tones in it. It's just there. Um, absolutely love this. Again, it doesn't make me look washed out. And yeah, I really like this one. I reach for this one quite a lot. Um, and the last two ones, I think, are L'Oreal. Is it L'Oreal? Yeah, L'Oreal. Um, from the collection Privy range of the nudes that L'Oreal brought out at the end of last year. 
Um, I've got two of them. Again, I got these from the um, makeup stall in the market, but they do still sell these ones on the L'Oreal counter. And it's the first one is Julianne's Nude, which is that one just there. Colorish, Julianne's Nude. Um, and it's again sort of a pinky, pinky peach toned nude, I would have thought. Let's just give that a, oh god, give that one a quick swatch. I really like this, it's very similar to the Avon one that I just swatched. So that's the Julianne's nude, or is it Juliet's or Julianne's? Julianne's. Um, I wear this one again a lot. I love it, I love the packaging on these ones, I just think they're so pretty. Um, and the last one I've got to show you is also uh, L'Oreal Colorish, and this one is Eva's Nude. And that one looks like that. Um, I think I wear this one, actually, out of the two the most, because I really, really do like this one. And this has got like a bronzy nude tone to it. I suppose you could call it a bronzy tone. This one here. So, I mean, you can see the similarities between all these lipsticks. They're all very different in their own right, but they're all still nudes. And they look um, lovely on the lips. They're all moisturising and they don't make me look dead, which is a bonus. So, um, those are the nude lipsticks that I love and I would recommend you go out and buy. If you've got the same sort of skin tone as me or, say, Lisa from Spacey's Number One Girl, because we've got the same sort of skin tone, um, I find that... All the colours she wears in foundations and lipsticks that suit her, they also suit me. So that's good. I get my advice off of her and you can get yours off of me. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are the lipsticks that um, I've got. Let's see if I can get them all in my fingers. Da -da 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 -da. There you go. <laughs> Those are all the ones. Pretty packaging. Love them all. And yeah, I just think they're lovely. Um, I never really used to be into nudes at all. Um... And then I started trying them. And I did, but I have bought a couple of mistakes. Believe me, I've got some in my lipstick drawer. I was just looking before I did this video. And uh, yeah, some of them do make me look like a corpse. Which isn't good on more occasions than one at all. Um, but yeah, so those are the nudes that I like. And shame on you if you opened this video because it said going nude. Because that's just wrong. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's um, those are the lipsticks that I would recommend for a nudie sort of effect on the lips if you've got my skin tone. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that guys. I hope it helped you out. And if you, I'd love to hear your feedback on it of what nudes that you like or if you've tried any of the ones that I've shown. Um, and just let me know what you think because I love them. Um, and I'm well into them now. And I think I'll be wearing nudes through the summer just as much as I do the winter. Um, yeah, I like nudes with a dramatic eye, so not that this is majorly dramatic, but it's dramatic for me. Um, so yeah, that's been my little video on my favourite nude lipsticks. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all again soon in my next video, guys. Love you all. Bye.